So I understand right. that January 6th was the biggest mistake Donald Trump has ever made in his life. And the mistake was that immediately upon the uh, breaking in of the Capitol, Trump should have gone on television and said, knock it off. He shouldn't have waited three hours and 15 minutes. That was a can, huge can I, mistake. Can I, can I ask a question here? Yeah. So we're sort of boiling it down to January 6th and, and the three hours and 15 minutes that he waited. But I, I want to maybe roll it back further because I don't think January 6th was an aberration. I think it was the culmination of a slow moving plot. And I'll tell you, the minute he lost the election, he went through every avenue meticulously to try and get that vote overturned. Right. He first went to all the states, Nevada, Georgia. I just need 11,000 votes. This was fraud. He went to all the courts. None of it worked. This kept going and they kept trying to plan. The next step was, let's go to the vice president. The vice president doesn't have to certify it. They tried to make constitutional arguments. Most of his lawyers say, Donald, you lost. This is crazy. This is not constitutional. So what does he do? He lawyer shops until he can find people that are unscrupulous. And then he takes their advice. Now, it comes down to that certification. This has been a process building up since November, right? Pence finally makes it clear, no. I'm going to certify these votes because that's my constitutional duty. And their last minute, last ditch effort is, okay, fine. Then I am going to create enough chaos to get this thing thrown into the House of Representatives. What I'm saying is it wasn't a three and a half minute brain fart that Donald Trump went through on January 6th. This was the very intentional, strategic end to a months long plan by Donald Trump to disregard the democratically elected new president of the United States All right. and overturn it. I understand your assessment and I understand why people, some people agree yes. with you. But I've investigated this thing really thoroughly. Oh, you're, you had your own January 6th committee. I have my own abilities and a, the best staff in the business. <laughs> All right. right. Hey, okay. Uh, uh, don't you? Not when my staff. Well, you are. do a different thing than I do. So let's hope so. What happened was <laughs> that Donald Trump refused to accept the fact that he lost. That's where you start your investigation. About two weeks, maybe 10 days after the vote, I told my audience right. that there was no massive fraud that could be proven. In the election, I lost about a thousand premium members on BillOReilly.com when I said that. What are you, are you running an OnlyFans over there? Um, it's no nudity, but close. <laughs> okay. Let's so hope. I knew there wasn't massive fraud, that this Dominion thing law, all this was BS because there wasn't one thing presented by anybody. And Alito, the Supreme Court justice, actually wrote. Tell me what you have and we will consider it because he was in charge of Pennsylvania, Alito. Nothing came for it, so I knew it was BS. But when the run up to the January 6th thing happened, I also have established beyond any reasonable doubt that Trump was worried things might go south on this. He did not want it so that they made inquiries to the White House, to the Pentagon, to Muriel Bowser, the mayor of D.C., and to Pelosi to get the Guard in ahead of time, the National Guard. It was rejected. And now we learn from Nancy Pelosi's daughter that she is feeling remorse about rejecting that, Nancy Pelosi. I, I, so okay. I'm going so to take wait, wait, issue wait. with your characterization All right, you can all take issue, but just, just listen. This is our investigation. Yes, that, that is not what was you founded You don't have to believe the... my investigation. This is what we Mom. have found out. So, I'm going to believe the actual investigation. Okay. You believe what you want, because that's what people do. They believe what they want to believe. <laughs> no, I'm not, it's not what I want to believe. So, it's what was in the report. Look, there are thousands of reports. The, the official government. There is no official, all right? Uh, all right? Well, the January 6th investigation. Okay. And you're telling me that that yeah. committee is what you're going on? What I believe, and I could be wrong, but very rarely am, is that Trump didn't want 
this violence. What he wanted was a display, all right, that would convince Americans to back his opinion that the vote so, was fraudulent. That's what he wanted. So here's here's what I, here's what I'm going to say. Okay. I disagree with you that that's what he wanted okay, that day. That's fine. I think I think what he wanted that day was Mike Pence not to certify the that's election. That's true. Right? And Pence is a hero when, by the way and hasn't gotten the credit that he should get. Pence will go down well, in no, history think, as a hero. Yeah. I I would agree with that in that one instance, but boy did he enable 4 years of nonsense okay. leading up to that. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.